I think one of the things that we all have in common is that even once in your life, you were a tiny little brat that didn't want to go to bed. And if you are Mexican like me, I'm sure your parents had some kind of a scare tactic to make you go to sleep. And Mexican culture has so many monsters for your parents to choose from that a lot of us grew up with different scary tales. But there was one that always scared me the most. Out of all of them, La Llorona, or the Weeping Woman, was the most frightening of all. Oh, let me tell you about La Llorona. First of all, it is a Latin American folktale. It's especially big in Mexico, but other countries that speak Spanish also have her in their uh, urban legends. So the story starts with this beautiful woman. She was the most beautiful woman in the whole town. And she falls in love with this man and he loves her back. And they get married and have two beautiful children and everyone was so jealous of their life. They live in this fairy tale like love story. But time goes by and they start growing old. And one day her husband finds a younger, more beautiful girl in the town and decides to run away with her. She was really prideful, so when she finds out her husband is with another woman, she's full with rage and despair, and she decides that she has to take vengeance on her husband. The only way that she can do that and make him pay back is by taking away everything they have. So she takes the two kids to the river, drowning them. They stop fighting back and the river takes their bodies away. In that moment is when she realizes what she has done. The reality sinks in. She has killed her kids and her husband is away. He will never come back. The only solution she sees is drowning herself so she can be with her kids in the afterlife. But the legend said that she hasn't been able to find them. So at night in the streets of Mexico, she follows the water hoping that she will find her children. There's people who says that they have heard her cry. They will hear a really long, Ay, mis hijos. Ay, mis hijos. Which will translate to, oh, my children. She will keep calling for them. And if you are a little kid who is not in bed when your parents told you to, Maybe La Llorona is going to think you are one of her kids and she will take you with her. Ooh. Yeah, I know. It might be kind of silly now. But I used to be really scared of her. But now I just accepted like one of her biggest traditions and she is pretty, pretty scary and pretty popular in Mexican culture. Everyone knows who La Llorona is. Like with every legend, the story changes a couple of details depending who you're talking or what region you're from, but the basic story is there. It's always a beautiful woman with a lot of pride who gets abandoned by her husband for a younger woman, so she takes vengeance by killing her own children. A lot of the stories will call her Maria because uh, that's a pretty common name in Mexico. So I think it's a safe bet to say there was a Maria in this town. And even if some details change from time to time, there's always going to be the shrilling, Ay, mis hijos, that is going to scare the crap out of you. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the story. Mexican urban legends have always been really interesting to me. So I might make more videos like this. Um, like and subscribe. and. Goodbye!